Hi everybody. I want to do just a quick video to give you some extra feedback um, about the RPW Appendix 6 exercise where you were asked to revise style. I'm going to show you Candy's work on this because it was exemplary, so instead of creating my own, I'm going to show you hers. All of you made some changes that helped in terms of increasing the appropriateness of the style, but many of you missed the opportunity to make the instructional part of this document more direct by using imperative voice. So Candy did a really good job of this. A few others did too, but I'm, I'm going to show you hers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if we look at the first sentence, use the smallest electrode. All right, many people picked up on this particular sentence, but there were many opportunities throughout the document where you could use imperative voice just the way it's done in this first sentence. So uh, let's see, let's go down to, here's an example. Properly dissipate heat. So instead of making this an informational sentence, what Candy did was make this an imperative it's you should properly dissipate the heat by using a cooling interval. The other way that you could have done this here would be to make it imperative by saying use a cooling interval of 15 seconds with, an, with a loop electrode in order to properly dissipate heat. All right. Um, okay, let's go down to the second section here to achieve the best result cut at a brisk speed, another imperative. And then she's just included the information from the second sentence, using a rate that incises tissue adequately. All right, then there's explanation. The longer the electrodes in contact with the tissue, the greater. Then back to imperative voice. Cut at a rate of seven millimeters per second, which is compatible with blah, blah, blah. All right down to the last section. This again is made imperative. Slowly increase the power level. And then there's explanation. Then this last part, more, uh, the last paragraph, more imperative voice. Test and calibrate suspected malfunctioning. Second sentence, assess the measurements taken. All right. So all of those things make this much more clearly. It, it uses the title, I believe, guidelines, clinical guidelines. Guidelines are instructions, right? So using that imperative voice, super important. The one thing that makes this um, not the perfect revision is something that I believe only, only Sarah did. Yeah, I think only Sarah. And that is, notice, this, this heading, selecting the electrode, nobody except for Sarah noticed that the other headings should be parallel. So this one should be selecting the cutting speed. This one should be selecting the power level. Okay, I hope that helps you understand what you might have done differently and how you could have made this document even better in terms of its style. Let me know if you have questions.